Hey cuties, it's Amanda and this is my channel Mindful Dinosaur. Uh, welcome back. Um, so today I'll be doing kind of a QA. and a um, I posted on Instagram asking for questions and some of you gave me some of those and I used a different app and asked for questions and I got some more from there. But yeah, let's get right into things. So the first question asks, what is your biggest desire? So my biggest desire is sort of, I really want to have like an impact on the world relating to body image. I want to make a difference where girls and boys, men, women can love their bodies just the way they are without having to think that they have to be a certain way or even comparing themselves to others. That's kind of why I want to get into makeup because the in beauty industry is so much about like, you have to look this way to be pretty or look that way to look a certain way to make people feel a certain way. And I want to like do my best to try to negate that for anybody really, even if it's just one person. So the next thing someone said was, I love you. Um, that's just, thank you, love you too. <laughs> the next question someone asked me why, and um, I don't know what you mean by that. So, so um, the next question asked, can you recommend any cool YouTubers? So um, my favorite YouTubers are Corinne and Skylar. Um, they are great. They are two LGBT YouTubers who have a channel together, um, girlfriends. Um, they just kind of give me hope for the future. It's, they live in LA and that's where I want to live and they just seem happy and like that makes me happy. Other YouTubers I like are Amy Ordman and that whole sort of group. So that includes Alexis G. Zoll, Kami Scott, Joanna Simon, um, those sort of people. Uh, let's see, I also like Yep It's Still Tori. She's sort of a smaller YouTuber. Uh, she's grown a lot though. Um, she's really cute. She does a lot of hauls and tutorials and that sort of thing. And another person I really like is Envy Malice Mickey. Um, she is a YouTuber who documents like things about her eating disorder and she's very honest and very real, real, real and very real so I, I really like that about her the next question asks what countries have you been to so I actually have not been to any countries outside of the US um, I was gonna go on a cruise once um, but right before we went on the trip before it it burnt down <laughs> um yeah so we didn't get to go on that and I never got to use my passport or go anywhere. So that's kind of sad, but I'm hoping, I really want to go to um, Tokyo in Japan. Um, it seems super cool with all the lights and the culture difference and I would love to learn Japanese, but I know it's probably not gonna happen because I am terrible at learning languages. <laughs> the next question is, what public holiday do you like the most? Um, well, you can probably guess this, but um, I love Halloween. I mean, you can probably even guess it from my shirt. I love Halloween so much. Um, I just love everything spooky and like I love horror movies so much. So it just kind of goes to that. I love like dark sort of things and it's just, I, I love Halloween. Plus you get candy and you get to dress up really cool and go to parties. I mean, I'm not much of a partier. I'm bad at social interactions. <laughs> Next question is, any advice on how to stay happy in life? Um, so some advice that I really resonated with when I, a few years back, was that you're here for a reason. Um, you may not know your purpose yet, but eventually you will, and then you can st strive off that, like, thrive with knowing that you are here for a reason, and just even staying happy by making other people happy but you can make people happy and that's something to be happy about so so the next question is what do you want to do in 10 years so my dream which i hope might come true is i want to move to la and become a makeup artist um i just really want to get into that field even if like makeup doesn't work out so i want to do hair maybe and I'm sure I could find a cool salon somewhere in LA and work there. I hope to have like a, an apartment, have some friends, and yeah, that's what I want to do. The next question is, what's your favorite brand to shop at? So I have two favorite stores. Um, one, Hot Topic, which you can probably guess again by what I wear and all the hair dyes I've had. I really need to dye my hair again. But um, yeah, so I love Hot Topic. I love 
the style, the music they play in it, just, it's really cool. And the second store I love is Zoomies. Um, yeah, I, I just really like that style too. I kind of combine emo and skater boy into one. It works for me. The next question is, what's your opinion on internet friendships? So internet friendships can be tricky. Um, I do think they're really great. It's a way for you to connect with like, if you have trouble connecting face to face, I don't think it should be a replacement for that because I think you should have face to face conversations. But there's also the downside where like you could find someone who might not say be who they say they are. Um, and that can get a little shaky and that's where I, I kind of get scared with internet friendships because you never know who someone really is. So the next question asks, who are your favorite humans? So um, my favorite humans are obviously my family and friends and family and also Andy Biersack because, you know, you get it. <laughs> so the next question is, how are you right now? Well, thank you for asking. So my mood has been pretty up and down lately. I've been I've just increased one of my medications and we're going to see how that goes, but yeah, it's kind of been a roller coaster. Um yeah, but thank you for asking. That was really sweet. <laughs> Which song do you hear the most currently? So, um I've actually been listening to Bring Me the Horizons new album on repeat. Um so probably the song I listen to most is either Why You Got to Kick Me When I'm Down or Sugar, Honey, Ice and Tea. Um, oh, I love them so much. Like, their new album is so different from anything they've ever done, but it's, like, really good, like, at least from my opinion. The final questions, what has been the most happy and sad event in your life? What impacts did they do, and how did you grow more? So let's start with sad first, so we can get that out of the way. <laughs> so the saddest moment in my life was, I think, back in the summer before I went to the hospital for the first time, I remember I was sitting outside, my parents had gotten breakfast for me, and I was just kind of realizing either I need to eat this, which I don't think I can actually do, or I'm going to die. And I couldn't really choose either. I didn't want to choose either, but the choice I made would lead me down to the road of not living anymore. And that was kind of the saddest moment I like in my life that I realized that either I kill this eating disorder or this eating disorder kills me. It definitely left a big impact on my life. I mean, it wasn't quite a turning point, but it definitely did a lot for me. It proved like provoked a lot of emotions, I guess. I just grew from then on. I mean, that was pretty bad. I think one of the best moments of my life was realizing that I have hope for the future, that even just high school, which stresses, which stresses me out so much, is just like a blip in my life, and I can do anything I want with my life. I can have the future I want. I can do anything. I can make people happy. I can make myself happy, and that just kind of showed me, it gave me hope and gives me motivation and makes me want to keep living so yeah so that's all the questions i have time for today um if you guys have any um video ideas that you would like me to do leave them down in the comments below um yeah so thank you for watching make sure to like subscribe turn on that notification bell and i will see you again soon bye